Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord and today's guide is going to be a very quick and easy one on how you can actually efficiently farm Elder Tempered Dragons. If you guys don't already know, uh, to actually get an Elder Tempered Dragon quest is pretty difficult. It actually takes a lot of time and it can get really annoying to be honest and some Reddit user actually found out that there is a really easy way you can actually go about doing this and you can practically farm it. It's it's very easy to do uh, as long as you meet the exact requirements. So please do stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does pose some pretty important information. And uh, also guys before we do get into the guide don't forget to leave a like if you do enjoy this video or found it helpful and also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more monster hunter tips tricks guides glitches all that kind of stuff um, okay so getting to, into the actual guide itself there are going to be a uh, one major uh, I guess required step of this whole thing and that is that you have to be under HR 49 you need to have your hunter rank below uh, HR 50 or just basically 49 um, and basically what happens then is once you hit HR 49, you will get your first Elder, uh, Elder Temp, Elder, te what is it, Tempered Elder Dragon Quest, that's really annoying to say, uh, but yeah, you'll get your very first one, and this one is called Thunderous Rumble in the Highlands, and basically what you have to do is go to the Coral Highlands, and you have to destroy or kill or slay a Kirin. And it can get kind of annoying, to be honest. It's a very difficult quest. I can imagine that many people who are new to the game will take multiple, like, tries at this, basically. You, you will ha have a little bit of difficulty if you don't already know Kirin's movesets. And um, this is good. This is actually a good thing, because actually what you can do is you can farm a tempered Elder Dragon quest while you're failing or trying to learn or just kind of practicing on this Elder Dragon. And uh, yeah, as you can see the gameplay in the background right now, I've just started up the Thunderous Rumble in the Highlands quest. And basically all you have to do is walk around and just track Kirin's footsteps. You just have to get the footsteps, the fur, and um, that's pretty much it. You just have to keep on watching it walk around. And the best thing about this quest is that Kirin is a very uh, calm dragon, I guess, a calm um, elder, and it doesn't attack you, it just kind of looks at you and walks by, because it's very calm, it's very, like, pleasant, and it will only attack you if you kind of go near it, or attack it, or something like that, I, I do know that you don't exactly have to attack it for it to attack you, you just have to kind of scare it or something, I don't know, um, but basically all you have to do is follow Kieran around, all through the quest um, and just keep on picking up these tracks and I know that sounds really annoying but this is actually the quickest method on how to do this right now basically I would say every 15 tracks you will get a new um, you will actually get a new quest, a new investigation unlocked. You'll probably see it on the right hand side of my screen pop up. It'll say investigation unlocked or something like that or investigation added. And uh, basically what this means is uh, whilst you're collecting all of these tracks, it's kind of glitching the game a little bit, it's bugging out a little bit to kind of unlock more tempered elder um, quests or investigations in the game. It's, it's kind of crazy to be honest. I'm not really too sure exactly how this works. To be honest because there's been times when I've collected four footsteps and it will unlock like two um, kind of investigations but then it'll take like 10 footsteps to unlock one it's it's very unbalanced to be honest but it does work it is very quick and easy on how to do it all you have to do is basically take 15 minutes out of your day to just kind of follow Kieran around and within that 15 minutes you will get five uh, investigations now the good thing about the investigations the tempered uh, elder dragon investigations is that um, you get around about seven tries at them you get like seven investigations um, of these of these monsters um, I'm actually just checking right now on my actual game and um, yeah like for slaying uh, let's see Valkazak I actually have three tries at that so you know I can I can complete that quest three tries I can do one four tries five tries four tries three tries you get multiple tries at doing these uh, these actual investigations and um, it's pretty simple to be honest it's very easy to do and I highly recommend it for any of you guys who haven't already completed the uh, tempered Kirin quest it's it's pretty much a necessity at this point that you do it because later on after you can't do it it'll get very annoying now the other thing you can actually do is that if you've already completed the quest what you can do is you can search for the uh, the tempered Kirin quest line and join into somebody else's game and 
and just get the footsteps then. Um, of course, this isn't exactly fair because if you join someone's game just to kind of increase their difficulty and then leave after you've got enough footsteps, that's fucking all ass, and yeah, I, I just think that you really shouldn't do that. Uh, at least follow through and actually help them complete the quest or something like that, I don't know. Um, but anyway guys, I just thought that I would give you a heads up on this because it's a pretty awesome little, uh, a little awesome bug, I would say, that's in the game right now that I think a lot of people should definitely use once they get to HR 39. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like, guys, and uh, tell me if you've used this before in the comment section below. I'd be pretty interested to know. Uh, well, anyway, have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!